This is a really short and quick and dirty intro to how to use 3D paint to get colors onto your model in Maya. So here we've got a model and he needs, he's kind of grayish, he needs some color. So we're going to use 3D paint. In order to use 3D paint, the first thing you need to do is assign it a shader. The shader should be a Maya shader. If you assign an Arnold shader, you cannot paint on it, at least the viewport won't show you it painting. So we're just going to throw a Lambert on there, for instance. So there's my new Lambert. And we're going to paint in the color. The 3D paint icon is right up there. So I'm going to hit 3D paint. And I get a brush. The brush is can be scaled by holding down B and just using your mouse. Um, I want to see my tool options, so I'm going to go up, tool settings, and you see I'm painting with white. I can even flop the, the, the fella, but we cannot paint yet because we haven't actually assigned any textures yet. So we want to paint color, we want to assign it a texture, and the texture size 2048 is good for a character. Uh, 124, the that default is a bit small for a full character. So I'm going to assign the texture. I have App is fine that paints on it. We're going to later rework this in Photoshop. So I'm going to assign a texture and it turns a slightly different color. And now say we want the base color to be green because it looks a bit of an alien. I can flat paint him with green and we're going to give him a nice red t-shirt. So I'm going to Pick red as my color. I like to use ugly colors in my instruction videos. And now we can just paint on him. Yay, there we go. The colors do not always look the way you want them to look in your viewport. I'm just going to kill my tool settings for a second so I have a little bit more screen space. So I can paint a nice t shirt on him. Uh, let's not make it a belly t shirt. There we go. So now I have some colors on him so he's, he's wearing a t-shirt so it's really great to map out where you want things to be it's not a great tool to uh, actually do your final clean texture map um, so we got a t-shirt on him that's fine but if we look at the shader and we go into the color by hitting the triangle uh, there is actually no image name yet, so there's no a image and the image of course is not saved with the scene It's a separate file. So we need to go into our tool settings and scroll down and Actually save the texture and as soon as I hit save textures boink, We get a file name and it ends up in 3d paint textures in your source images if I now click on my sample you actually see that is what I just painted. Uh, why does it look like that? Well, of course, in order to paint on uh, a character at all, we need to have UVs assigned. Uh, so let me show you the UV editor. I'm going to get rid of my tool settings. And I'm uh, your UV editor you can, of course, get from Polymodeling UV editor. And because my screen's so small, I have to scroll down to get it. There's your UV editor. I already put it in the uh, second pane. So these are the UVs for this character. And you see the texture map immediately underneath. To fine tune our painting in Photoshop, it really helps to have these UVs to guide you. And we should actually have them unsubdivided, ideally. So we take our UVs and we want to bring them into Photoshop as well. So we're going to take a snapshot with a little camera up here and the snapshot options are in this case 1024 which is a default image size. We want to make that double because that's the kind of the size of the image we're painting on. By default it goes into uh, out UV. This says hinge out UVs. That doesn't make much sense. Let's call it um, um, character out UVs and um, IFF is fine in this case, so we're going to apply and close this. We just exported our UVs to out UV in the images directory. The three painted texture is in 
3D painted textures in source images. And in a different video, I'll show you how to then fine tune the result in Photoshop.